Hello Scorpio, welcome back to the Lynx Tarot. This is Monica and this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're covering money, career, love, and any spirit messages that want to come through. Jumping right in here with the Wisdom of Dell. Then we'll go into some Oracle, Tarot, Tea Leaf, and we'll end with money and career messages. Okay, you have Surrender. This is a moment of awakening and relief. Nice, it is done. Step back to see the big picture. Instead of fighting a battle you cannot win, stop struggling, concede, and preserve your energy for your next strategic plan of attack and winning is ahead. Okay, so this means it's time to take a deep breath. You've worked very hard. There's nothing more to be done right now. It's a matter of waiting, okay? The results will come in. If there's anyone else involved that you need to work something out with, when they're ready, you'll all come together and it will be a team effort. But for now, for the time being, you've done all that you need to do and it's time to step back. Don't try to control other people. Don't try to delegate their part in the picture, whatever that may be. They need to work on this in their own time. So this could be in the workplace. It could be someone you live with. Um, <clears throat> But it's, this is a time of, it says, a moment of awakening and relief, okay? So whatever you've had to do, it's done. Time to step back and look at the big picture, okay? You don't really need to wait for someone else to dictate what comes next in your life, but it's time for you to wait and see how things unfold, okay? And it might involve the actions of others but that is not what will dictate to you what comes next for you. That's what you will decide, but it will be based on, um, you know, your evaluation of, of new circumstances that aren't yet present, okay? But they will be. Okay, everybody has free will, and when there's other players in the game, in the game of life, you know, they're going through what they go through, and, um, you know, once an offer or there are new circumstances, um, once they're presented, you can proceed from there with that new information. Okay, this is the Energy and Spirit Oracle. And then we'll go into some tarot and go from there. Okay. We have Ancestors and number 28 for those of you who like numerology. 28, and that breaks down to 10. Historical Connections and Purposes. So you might be being called to do something that um, has been passed on to you. You might be a healer. You may have ancestors that were healers. There's so many different forms of healing. You could be a healer and not appear to be a healer. And I make this connection with finance a lot. There are people who work in the financial world who can help us. They know what they're doing and they care. And in my opinion, they're a healer, okay? So you might be a different kind of healer <clears throat> or you may be receiving help from someone who is very healing, but they don't call themselves like a metaphysical hero, healer, like a tarot reader or um, energy healer or whatever, but their, their presence and their assistance in your life is healing. So you could be providing this for someone else or they're providing this for you. We have 15, and that breaks down to six, Archangel Haniel, joy, blessings, and intuition, yeah. Yeah, there is something being born here. See the little chickadee up there? She's holding this nest and she's got this, um, you know, a new birth in her hand. And it's happy, it's fresh, it's new, it's joyous. Something new for you that makes you happy. All right, and we have, oh, freedom. I like these together, that cute little chick and freedom. Moving on and letting go, yes. So you're moving on from something that just is no longer serving you. Um, letting go of um, waiting for other people to make their move so you can decide what your move is. Okay, so it's not like, I was trying to say before, and I hope I made sense. It's not like you're waiting for others to dictate to you what you do next, but you've done all that you can up to this point. So you just need more information, which might stem from the actions of others, but that's it's not them telling you what to do. It's this new information based on, on what their choices are in this situation that you make your decisions. So no one's telling you what to do. 
let me show you this again it's a beautiful carefree energy here it's like weightless okay so if you've been feeling burdened with something um, it's time to pull out of that <clears throat> all right let's go over to the tarot here clarify <clears throat> what else for Scorpio okay so oops clarifying ancestors we have the knight of swords so this is fast moving energy there could be someone who is presenting you with an offer they want an answer right away <clears throat> whoops okay and archangel haniel joy blessings intuition oh being clarified by the, by the empress she just came out i think for cancer so this is about abundance um you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. I want to show you these cards together because it's very like beautiful, abundant energy in both. It's about new beginnings. It could be material abundance. It could be financial security. Uh, it could be you know the health of your loved ones or yourself or your pets or something like that. Um, just you you being in your own glory um, in a beautiful way. You're being looked up to. Um, admired you're setting an example in a good way not a stern way I feel like you're coming out of this sternness and you're coming into the surrender energy we have a lot of surrender here okay um, and I feel like you're leading by example okay with freedom and the devil so these cards are very conflicting energies very contrasting energies because the devil card is that negative ego saying you can't do this or focus on what never worked out before as if it'll never work out in the future you need to free yourself from that negativity because those negative thoughts can be like an addiction you got to disconnect from that okay disconnect from anyone who's wronged you or any situation you felt was unfair um, try to let go of focus on those things and focus on your freedom okay someone said this to me not long ago it was like a totally different situation but um, it's even though you want you might want someone to get theirs for something they seemingly got away with maybe they didn't it's time to disconnect from that it's time to not care about that or else you'll be stuck in that energy that negative energy and bring it upon yourself when this freedom energy is right here for you, just detach from it, okay? It doesn't matter anymore. It's not going to affect you anymore unless you let it. If you hear me yelling back there, that's my little kitten, that's little buddy back there. We rescued him back in January. He's so cute. I just had to shut the door because he's a baby and I have lit candles here, so cannot take those chances. He's a real talker, real, real sweet, gentle kitty. All right, so let's clarify. And Buddy is on my community tab. So if you wish, go check out my community tab. There's a picture of him on there. All right, Ancestors and Knight of Swords is being clarified by the Queen of Cups. This is very beautiful energy, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And um, look at this. These are very different energies with the Knight of Swords rushing the Knight of Swords is saying, answer me right now. Here's this opportunity. Let's do this now. Give me an answer now. I want to know right now. I want to know. I want to know. Okay. The Queen of Cups is more intuitive and she's like, okay, let's take our time. Let's feel this out. So I think you need to balance out these energies before you figure out your next move. And I keep talking about this next move because the message I'm getting here is that um, there's something strategic that you're about to do or maybe should do that is really going to help boost you in life at this point all right so we have archangel honey out with joy blessings intuition look you got intuition twice here here and here and even even some with the empress okay joy blessings intuition the empress with the page of pentacles so this offer has to do with money could be a job someone might be asking you to come work for them with them partner with them you could be learning something new that will help you make more money. You could be getting a master's degree. Um, 
You could be, you know, elevating yourself when it comes to your education where you're still doing the same job, but because you have additional education, you have pay increase, okay? This is still something to be proud of, okay? With the peacock there, be proud like the beautiful proud peacock. And with the Empress card, there's so much beauty here. There's nothing wrong with standing out and being your beautiful self. Moving on and letting go with the devil is being clarified by the Ace of Cups. So let love conquer all. There's abundance here with all those goldfish. Abundance in love, financial security. I always notice the cycles of the moon on this card. So I feel like within the next month, there's going to be positive change here. It's just important to let go of this negative ego, okay? Um, pull your focus off of the past. I think I've, I focused on that um, message with the cancer reading. So I, I keep referring to that. So you might want to listen to cancer as well. Um, pull your focus off of that. If you feel like, you know, you want revenge on someone or you want to know that they got theirs for what they put you through, it's really time to let go of that can. I'm sorry, Scorpio, it's, it's time to let go of that. Um, also, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? The devil means many different things. The devil card in the tarot could represent a Capricorn. All right, so this is the Tealy Fortune deck. Let's see what else we have. Okay, Rabbit. So too much concern with sexual matters. This could also, to me, have to do with good luck because to me the rabbit symbolizes good luck. And we also had that card with a little chickadee. So I think this is the birth of something new. It could be a new endeavor, new job, new house, new relationship. Okay, let's just shuffle a tad more here. Sometimes I just start talking and I get this like urge to shuffle again. Okay, so the fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Could be a man or a woman. I don't always attach gender to these cards. So um, this person, this Knight of Swords could be rushing in. Um, he could be of these you know, characteristics he or she, and then there's a woman too. Dealings or relationship with a woman. This could represent the Queen of Cups here who is very um, emotional. Um, she could be calm. She, I feel like she's a calm energy. The Knight of Swords is a very fast energy, not calm, like a demanding energy, very excited. Could be an air sign. Let's get one more for this pile. Hmm. Someone working against you or behind your back. We have the rat. So um, that um, Knight of Swords, this person who is demanding an immediate answer, that person might be in a rush to get an answer from you because they don't want you to figure something out, okay? So take your time, weigh and measure all of these details, all of these options before you agree to anything. That might be why that person is um, <clears throat> rushing or trying to rush you to give an answer or a commitment. This even could be in romance. There could be someone trying to to um, rush a relationship with you because they don't want you to know something about them. They want to suck you in before you have a chance. Like they want you to get emotionally sucked in so that, you know, when, when you find out the truth about them, you're going to like, you know, you might doubt what you're feeling <clears throat> or they might have some kind of hold on you. I don't like that. Oh, look, we got the peacock again. Awesome. Okay, now this one's saying beware of pride. So we also have um, the devil card here. So there's that negative ego. So I'm getting a warning of beware of your own negative ego. Um, beware of, you know, if you know you're in the right and someone is in the wrong, don't take that too far. Don't focus on that too much. Just let go, move on. <clears throat> Be free, enjoy this freedom. Enjoy your freedom here, okay? There's no need to reside in that negative energy. <clears throat> and we have the peacock here on the page of pentacles. Okay, so this is reinforcing energy here. Um, <clears throat> it's not just beware of pride, okay? I'm finding that um, in this reading, this could you know, mean what I just said about beware of that negative ego, even though you know you're in the right, um, don't dwell in that energy for too long. Just move on and free yourself from it, free yourself from that other person. The other thing is that there are things to be proud of, okay? Um, 
like I said, you might be getting might be getting an education in something that helps increase your pay. You might be doing the same thing, but this helps increase your pay, and you should be proud of this. You should be proud of the time that you put into further educating yourself, even though um, you might be in the same job, the same position. It's still enhancing what you do. It's enhancing you. You're learning. You're growing. You're growing spiritually, mentally. So that's something to be proud of. Oh my gosh, little kitty out there. I have to let him in. I'm going to finish this reading and then let him in. He doesn't like to be closed off from his mommy. <laughs> oh, and he has other kitties out there. And he loves them too, but he, he doesn't like to be closed off from his mommy. So, Okay, four-leaf clover. Oh, great good fortune. I love this for you. Awesome. We have astral house here of happiness. Yeah, great good fortune and happiness. That four-leaf clover is, um, you know, symbolizes good luck let me just take a peek down here oh yeah we have the empress here yeah the good luck and beauty and we have the fan romance celebration and party so for some of you you could be coming into a new romance <clears throat> maybe you're meeting someone at a party a wedding or graduation or something like that and let's get a few more we have the shield okay you need to defend yourself defend yourself to a certain point <clears throat> but don't take this too far don't take it too far, okay? <clears throat> no seeking revenge. No more focusing. And watch your negative words. If you know you're right and this other person was wrong, don't keep talking about it. Say your piece and cut that cord. Move on. Move on to a more positive, free, lighter energy. Let that go, okay? Because if you don't, you're going to be vibing low where that other person is or, or that situation or those people or whatever it is. Do you really want to be there? You got out of this for a reason. So no matter how right you are, don't keep talking about it because then you're residing in that energy. Lobster, okay, financial pinch. Um, let's go a little further here. You might need to defend yourself having to do with something in finance. Maybe you were, um, maybe you had a disagreement with someone or a dispute with someone that having to do with finances and you need to speak up and defend yourself. You need to say your piece. Deal with this let it go and that might be why you're so mad because this had to do with money and with dogs okay getting together with friends so this is the opposite energy friends true friends okay loyal honest um people with um <clears throat> people who honor and honor and respect you people who have convictions okay so let's go over to the money and career deck oh my god that poor kitty he's not hurting or anything he just he's just crying for his mommy all right, so this is the Money and Career Oracle deck. <clears throat> Let's get a couple messages from here. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him, but he has the cutest little meow. Okay. Prudence, don't let the balance of your credit cards get too high. Put something aside for a rainy day. Stay within your budget and start living within your means. Okay, so just take what resonates. And we have destiny. Believe in your dreams and passions. It is your calling to follow them. Whatever led you to this point in your life, it was to direct you to your higher purpose. New exciting adventures await you. Don't look back. Yes. See, don't look back only to the future. And I feel like for some of you, this romantic connection resides in that higher energy. So not the energy I'm telling you to disconnect with and cut the cords from. I think there's something better, a better romance. And that this, this person vibes somewhere where you typically do, but only when you're not pulled back into that negativity that really made you angry. And we have beauty. Okay, embrace your unique style and own it. Let the world see who you really are. Consider careers doing hair, jewelry, clothing, or any job that enhances others' beauty. Your inner world must match your outer world for things to change. Okay, that really validates this reading for me. Your inner world must match your outer world for things to change. So really work on this inside, how you're feeling about whatever wronged you. It's time to surrender that. Cut those cords. There's something way more open for you free happy beautiful things want to come flooding in for you and it's just a matter of 
a matter of letting go of those those yucky things, those negative things, that negative ego and opening yourself to these better things and having trust that there are better connections and better situations for you. I think it's your lack of trust that um, that keeps pulling you back to focusing on your righteousness of another situation. So be very mindful of that. And when you detach from that, you're just gonna have a whole new world. You're gonna feel better, you're gonna feel lighter. I mean, it's going to feel like you lost weight. You might not, you might not literally lose weight, but it's going to feel like you have because you're going to feel that much better. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.